It's that time of year, folks. We're getting towards the business end of the season. With just around 11 and 12 games left in the League 2 season, we ask the question, who is going up? Spoiler alert, it's not Swindon Town. So following the results of the midweek matches on the 14th of March, the table currently looks like this. Late Noyan are far out ahead at the top of the table. They'll surely be champions as they're six points clear with the 12 games to play. Stevenage follow them in second, followed by Carlisle, Northampton, Stockport, Bradford and Salford make up the playoffs with Mansfield and Sutton chasing them. And that is where I'm going to draw the line. I don't believe that Barrow, Swindon Town, Doncaster Rovers or any of the teams below them have the capacity to make it into the playoffs. I still doubt Sutton's credentials, but we're going to include them given they're only a point outside the playoffs at the time of recording. Now let's compare that with an expected points table, this one from highcharts.com. This predicts the outcome of the League 2 season. As you can see, Late Orient still out on top, Stevenage and Carlisle also going up automatically. Then the playoffs, we have Northampton, Bradford, Mansfield and Stockport. So you can see that Salford have slipped outside the playoffs there um, just at the end of the season. And it's looking like it's going to be a win that's going to separate third and fourth Carlisle United at Northampton Town, so it's going to be very, very close at the top of the table. The key battle in the run-in at the end of the season does look like it's going to be Carlisle United against Northampton Town for that third place and final automatic promotion spot. And even better, on the 15th of April, the two teams are going to play each other in what is going to be an absolute corker of a game that could decide automatic promotion. Carlisle United have a fiendishly tough run in, or if your glass are full, they have it all within their own hands, as they're set to play every team in the top eight, apart from Mansfield, of this final projected table. Very, very tough fixtures ahead for Carlisle, but if they can get those key wins and keep the momentum going, then they will be promoted automatically in what is an unbelievable achievement from Paul Simpson's side who were fighting its relegation at the end of last season. Northampton on the other hand who will be chasing Carlisle for that final automatic spot only have apart from Carlisle themselves Bradford and Stevenage to play of those top teams making it a much easier run in on paper for the Cobblers. Can they do it? Can they get into the automatic promotion spaces that they've occupied for much of this season? Or will they miss out just as they did on the last day of last season when Bristol Rovers pulled off a miracle 7-0 win against Scunthorpe on the final day to deny Northampton automatic promotion? In the playoff race then, a crucial game is going to be Salford City against Stockport County. Salford City predicted to be just outside the playoff places and that crucial game could once again decide whether they make it into those playoff spots. Sutton, who I said before are unlikely to make it into the playoffs, have an incredibly difficult run. They again have to play most of the sides in the top seven between now and the end of the season. So again, you could say it's within their hands, but also very unlikely for them to pick up points in those crucial games against the top sides. I personally don't believe that their squad has enough to get into the playoffs and then probably unlikely to get promoted even if they did. But what a fairy tale story it would be. My own team, Swindon Town's status objective for the season is promotion, but it's seeming incredibly unlikely, with playoffs looking very far off now. We need about 25 points to get to the 75 point mark, which usually is enough for the playoffs, but that would mean that we'd have to win at least 7 of our final 12 games, which, based on having watched them play a hell of a lot this season, seems incredibly unlikely. Last season we managed to go on a crazy run, we won our final six or so games which catapulted us into the playoffs. We'll have to go even harder if we're going to do it this year. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen. Mansfield Town of the side that the predictor estimates will sneak into the playoffs and they've got a couple of pretty simple games in their run-in which could help them do that. They play Harrogate, Rochdale and Colchester in their run-in. They have got a few tricky games as well but those three games are pretty much bankers and have to be nine points out of a possible nine if they are trying to reach their objective of promotion this season. Do you think you can do it Mansfield fans? Let me know down below. So what do you make of the predicted table then? Do you agree? Are Leighton Orient going to be champions? Will they be joined by Stevenage and Carlisle 
in League One next season. If you're a fan of Salford, Sutton or Swindon, do you think that your side can sneak into the playoffs? Let me know down below. And Northampton Town fans, what do you think about the predictor having you to miss out on the top three in a second consecutive season? I'd be very interested to hear your take. And if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, we'll be doing another video very soon on the other end of the table about who's going to get relegated. So do subscribe if you're interested in seeing that one. Thanks very much for watching. Out the swing. Let's go.